Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. The Australian dollar edges closer to the 60-day moving average seen around 71, 70, 80. However, as we can see previously, the doji was placed after the brief attempt and I do feel the markets will find another round of supply as they approach this region. If so, then I expect to see another downturn and look towards the region of 71.05 and then retest the lows that we saw on Friday of 70.55. Little to add really when it comes to the euro as it slips slightly further on uh, Tuesday. In light of the pattern, I still feel the market needs to demonstrate a little bit more weakness to support a bearish case. And therefore, if we can see a close underneath 114.15, then that should uh, trigger a further move down to 113.65 to 113 the figure. Any advances should still find the resistance or a cap at 114.70.80. The dollar yen is still holding to a relatively bullish case since its rebound and therefore looks towards that top side resistance around 115.90 figure. I feel like last time we will get a, possibly a rejection from there and then look down back towards the bottom side of the range around 114.20 to 113.65. Sterling slightly pretty much unchanged actually from the close of the previous day and therefore still holds to a slightly mixed pattern due to the RSI holding above the midway point. Nevertheless, any weakness should still find the support region of 134.60.70 after a close attempt did fail. On the top side, looking at the resistance around 135.70 as an intraday um, outlook. Kajen still coasting sideways. Do all to say the top side attempt yesterday around that 91 figure 15 didn't eventuate too much, and I still feel there is risk that the market will turn down towards that bottom side of the range around 89.60.80. Spot gold, well, that's edging higher and still looking like it's got potential to get to the region of 1833. Towards this region, I feel the market will probably find heavy supply due to that previous candle and if so should send the market back down towards the bottom side of the range around 1786 to 88. The bearishness for oil increased overnight and got down to a low of 8744 taking out the support level of 88665 but didn't close under there. I feel that we need a little bit more to the bearish case, that is when these two indicators marry up to support a further downward slide, and if so, looks towards a region of $86 a barrel. Let's see if the market can continue its slide from last night. Well, that wraps it for the morning. Thank you very much for joining me, but please join me later for the day wrap and keep an eye out for the intraday report.